If you love to eat, it's a great opportunity to learn how to prepare it. And it's hands-on, it's keep your mind open, realize that you're going to make mistakes, but that's good because you're going to learn from them. It's very exciting to work with the professors because they're right there to help you through a problem, think it through. It's, um, your mind is always active. My name is Tom Conley. I'm actually the program director of the Hospitality Management and Culinary Arts Program at Norwalk Community College. I actually started here in uh, May of 1992. Uh, prior to that, uh, Norwalk Community College did not have a Hospitality Management and Culinary Arts Program. Uh, as the program grew uh, to its present size of approximately 150 students, it took a year to get the funding to build a culinary arts kitchen. It took a year to design it and then it took a year to construct it. So actually the culinary arts kitchen opened in September of 1995. Within the culinary arts certificate program there are actually four cooking courses. The first course covers the basics. It starts with the knife skills. It actually goes into soups and sauces, stocks. We spend one day on seafood cookery, one day on the meats, one day on poultry. They learn how to bone out a chicken. And then we get into you know fruits and vegetables, uh, pasta from scratch, etc. In the second level of food prep course, they actually get into more of the planning of menus. It's actually called food production purchasing. They also learn how to actually calculate how much to purchase. They learn more about the recipes and the menu planning and things like that. The third level, which actually is called catering and event management, this is where they actually get into more buffets and garnishing. Uh, they actually do, um, you know, they also get into like charcuterie, where they actually make different pâtés and terrines and things like that. They also spend one day on making, doing ice carvings. Uh, the fourth level of food prep course is actually uh, an international foods course. And usually they do two events in that uh, course, they actually kind of take a theme and the last event they had was actually a, a South American breakfast for a legislative breakfast that's coming up. I really think that this should be a regular event, um, maybe once or twice a week or even daily. I think it's good training for our students and it's a good exposure for them. Um, if they could invite area um, restaurant managers and uh, chefs to get exposure for them, as well as give them more practice in case they want to open up their own restaurant one day or work in a five-star restaurant. And I think it should be done more often because it's, they did just such a great job. And I think the training that they're getting here through Tom Connolly and Jeff Trombetta is excellent training. 20% of our graduates are actually working at country clubs in the area. We actually have 20 students that are actually uh, either managers or clubhouse managers or dining room managers throughout Fairfield County. We also have a course in sanitation and safety, which is required for all restaurants to have a certified a qualified food operator on duty at all times and this course gives you that certification. We also have a applied nutrition course which is required for all three programs and that's actually where if they're learning about low-fat cooking they actually go into the kitchen and practice it whether it's being you know sauteing with low-fat oils or if they're actually you know doing some baking with low-fat uh, cooking. I started working. I've always worked in like food service type places like bakeries and um, restaurants and things like that and I just really love it. Uh, we actually have two baking classes. We have our first level baking course and in that course you actually learn about breads, you learn about pies, you actually learn about uh, uh, you know, sweet breads, muffins, uh, danish, uh, you know, strudels, a lot of different things. Uh, the second level baking course you actually get into more of the uh, cake decorating, you also get into um, mazepan, uh, you also get into fondant which is a special hot frosting that you put on cakes. They also get into sugar work, they get into um, you know, a lot of different facets of the uh, more fancy type of pastries, you know, mini pastries, you know, the more artistic side of the baking end of it. There's also a co-op work experience that's required of all the students. The students are required to actually do a 400-hour paid co-op work experience where they'd actually go into the field and work in a paid position. The best thing that you're going to get out of class here at Norwalk Community College is you know, you're working with professionals in the field, with the restaurant hotel background, learning from these professionals, and um, learning like it is in the real world. And that's how I run the class. I think it, it's very exciting to see people, uh, young people, so intent on doing a perfect job. And I think they're gracious, and they know what they're doing, and it shows that they've been trained well. 
I love teaching students and I love them learning things and grasping and then moving on in their career. I just really liked the atmosphere here. It's really laid back and it's just a fun place to be. And everything is so delicious. Really cordon bleu, you might say. <laughs> you have to think ahead, which is a wonderful trait to develop for somebody who's growing and this is what you really need to know for the future. You look through a recipe and you have to look to th through the whole recipe to the final end and understand the whole procedure. And that's what life is about. Looking for, at the beginning, making a decision, and to the final product, the end, the food. And not only that, you get to eat what you make.